What if everything we know about life's origins is incomplete? Recent analyses of giant viruses and unclassified genetic sequences are challenging our fundamental understanding of biology's tree. These mysterious entities carry thousands of genes that don't match anything in our databases. And now, quantum computing is giving us the tools to see what we've been missing all along. The implications are staggering. An entire domain of life may have been evolving alongside us, completely undetected by conventional methods. This isn't just another discovery. It could rewrite the textbooks on what life actually is. What happens when you unleash quantum computing on biology's biggest mysteries? Something unprecedented emerges from the noise. Quantum machine learning models trained on massive genetic datasets have revealed an anomalous cluster patterns of genes that don't match any known kingdom or domain. This isn't just a handful of unusual sequences. We're talking about entire genomic architectures that stand apart from all three established branches of life. Meanwhile, a Google-backed research team has reported self-organizing information in a synthetic quantum environment, with signatures that resemble replication and adaptation. These aren't just random patterns. They're showing behaviors we typically associate only with living systems. Even more intriguing, scientists studying quantum field behaviors in biological systems have detected coherence and entanglement patterns that don't align with any known species' metabolic pathways. These quantum signatures suggest information processing unlike anything in conventional cellular biology. None of this proves a new life form but it suggests something far more alien is hiding in the data than we ever thought possible. But what happens when you compare this quantum anomaly with Earth's own biological dark matter? The answer might force us to reconsider everything we thought we knew about life itself. Scientists have long known about a shadow world hiding in plain sight, what they call the microbial dark matter of Earth. But its true scale is staggering, a massive 36% of DNA found in global metagenomic studies can't be traced to any known organism. Think about that. More than a third of Earth's genetic diversity remains completely unclassified. It's as if we've been studying life through a keyhole, missing entire kingdoms of biology. Where does this genetic dark matter come from? Much of it originates in extreme environments that push the boundaries of what we consider habitable, deep ocean crusts, hypersaline lakes, scalding hydrothermal vents, places that might harbor life so different from what we know that our conventional tools can't even recognize it. Most alarming of all, a groundbreaking 2023 study found novel gene families lurking in this unclassified data with no resemblance to existing life. These aren't just unusual variants. They're completely novel genetic architectures that don't match anything in our databases. If this kind of frontier science fascinates you, hit subscribe now. We bring you discoveries that others don't even talk about. And trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. And just wait until we tell you what quantum AI found when simulating these unknown sequences. Because it changes everything we thought we knew about what life can be. What happens when you use the world's most advanced quantum computers to simulate life's fundamental processes? Something unexpected emerges from the code. IBM Chiskit and Stanford's quantum teams have run sophisticated models simulating exotic biological environments. Their goal was simple, better understand how conventional life operates, but that's not what they found. In a few rare tests, these quantum systems began to evolve complexity on their own, organizing information, stabilizing feedback loops, and developing structures that resist entropy. This wasn't programmed behavior. It emerged spontaneously from quantum interactions. Some researchers have cautiously described this phenomenon as a quantum native organism, not biochemical, but informational. Unlike digital simulations on classical computers, these patterns leverage quantum superposition and entanglement to process information in ways that mirror biological adaptation. This raises a profound question. Could life exist as pure algorithm, forming a fourth domain, not in cells, but in quantum systems? What if the most alien life form isn't in outer space, but in the quantum realm that underpins our reality? 
a form of existence that doesn't need DNA, proteins, or even atoms to replicate and evolve. What do you think? Could this be a glimpse of life that isn't carbon-based at all? Let us know in the comments before we show you what comes next. Because one of the strangest candidates for this fourth branch might already be here on Earth, and it's been hiding in plain sight for decades. While quantum simulations hint at information-based life, an enigmatic group of biological entities challenges our understanding here on Earth. They're called giant viruses, and they're unlike anything else in our biosphere. Pandora virus and Mimivirus carry thousands of genes, most of which are completely unknown. We're not talking about a few unusual proteins. Up to 93% of their genetic material doesn't match anything in our databases. It's as if they're written in a biological language we've never seen before. These behemoths don't fit the virus category cleanly. They mimic cellular complexity with gene counts rivaling bacteria, yet lack the fundamental machinery we associate with cellular life. They exist in a biological gray zone neither fully alive by conventional definitions, nor typical viruses. What makes this truly extraordinary is that when scientists conducted phylogenetic analysis using protein folds, one of the most ancient and conserved features in biology, these giants landed on a fourth branch completely outside bacteria, archaea and eukarya. They appear to represent an entirely separate lineage at the root of life's tree, they may be remnants of an ancient lineage that evolved alongside conventional life, or perhaps even more remarkable, proof that life evolved more than once on our planet. And when quantum systems were used to analyze their gene structures, the result shocked even the researchers. What they found suggests we may need to completely reimagine what constitutes life itself. When conventional tools hit their limits, Scientists turned to quantum computing to unravel this biological enigma. The results have only deepened the mystery. Quantum computers have accelerated the comparison of these anomalous genomes with the rest of life's genetic library. Their unique ability to process vast datasets in parallel has revealed patterns that classical algorithms simply couldn't detect. What's remarkable is that certain viral structures resist classification, even under maximum resolution quantum mapping. It's as if they're biological outliers by design, structures that follow different evolutionary rules than all other known life forms. Even more intriguing, some machine learning models began grouping these giant viruses with environmental anomalies from our biological dark matter hinting at shared, unknown ancestry. These connections aren't random noise. They represent statistical correlations that suggest a hidden biological network existing alongside conventional life. Some theorists believe these patterns may belong to a proto-domain, a shadow branch of life that diverged before LUCA, the last universal common ancestor. This wouldn't just be another type of microbe, it would represent an entirely different experiment in evolution, one that took a fundamentally different path than the three domains we recognize today. If confirmed, this wouldn't just add a branch to life's tree. It would require us to redraw the entire map of evolution. It suggests life may have multiple origins or that our understanding of what constitutes life has been far too limited. We've always assumed DNA is life's only blueprint, but what if that's just one solution to the problem of replication? The quantum data forces us to consider a more radical possibility. Biology's central dogma, DNA to RNA to protein, might be more flexible than we thought. Scientists are already exploring alternative genetic systems, XNA, PNA, mirror DNA, or even quantum state-based encoding. These aren't just theoretical constructs. They represent entirely different approaches to storing and transmitting biological information. What's particularly striking is that some synthetic biology experiments already show that non-DNA life is possible in labs. 
Researchers have created semi-synthetic organisms with expanded genetic alphabets and alternative base pairs that function alongside natural systems. But what if, somewhere on Earth, or deep in data, a form of life emerged that skipped DNA altogether? A lineage that found a completely different solution to the fundamental challenges of existence. These quantum anomalies might be our first glimpse of such a possibility. This wouldn't just be another exotic organism. It would represent a fundamentally different approach to what life is. Instead of nucleic acids and proteins, it might organize itself through quantum coherence, using entanglement rather than chemical bonds to process information and maintain structure. The implications extend beyond biology into how we define consciousness, information, and even existence itself. If life can arise through multiple pathways, our search for it elsewhere in the universe might need complete reimagining. And if that's the case, then what we've found in quantum simulations may not just be an anomaly, but a warning, because we might be surrounded by life forms we can't even recognize. The evidence isn't isolated. It's converging from multiple scientific frontiers, each pointing to the same stunning conclusion. In quantum biology, researchers have documented anomalous behaviors in enzymes and photosynthesis. Quantum tunneling, coherence and entanglement that defy classical biochemistry. These aren't just exotic quirks. They're fundamental to how some biological processes work. Astrobiology teams have detected non-standard biosignatures in exoplanet data, chemical signatures that resemble metabolism but don't match any known biochemical pathways. These aren't just noise in the data. They're consistent patterns that suggest alternative biochemistries. AI pattern recognition systems have identified self-organizing data clusters in unstructured quantum systems emergent behaviors that mimic adaptation and selection without being programmed to do so. These aren't just algorithmic artifacts. They're persistent structures that resist entropy. Virologists continue to discover misfit gene clusters with no evolutionary anchor. Genetic sequences so novel they appear to have emerged from a completely different lineage. These aren't just unusual variants. They represent wholly unique approaches to biological information. And in microbial ecology, we're confronted with the humbling reality that the vast majority of life remains uncultured and unseen. A biological dark matter that may harbor completely novel forms of existence. Individually, these discoveries are strange, but together they paint a picture we can no longer ignore. We may be standing at the edge of recognizing a fourth branch of life, one that doesn't follow our biology, but its own alien rules. Now for those of you who've stayed with us this far, let's cover some fundamentals that put this discovery in context. Life on Earth has traditionally been organized into three domains. Bacteria are single-celled organisms without nuclei that include everything from soil microbes to the bacteria in your gut. Archaea look similar to bacteria, but have fundamentally different biochemistry and often thrive in extreme environments like hot springs and salt lakes. And Eukarya include all organisms with complex cells containing nuclei, from amoebas to oak trees to humans. These three branches are thought to have evolved from Luca, the last universal common ancestor a hypothetical primitive organism that lived around 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. Luca represents the point where all current life diverged, carrying common genetic signatures we still see today. You might wonder why viruses aren't considered a domain of life. Conventional viruses lack cellular structures and can't reproduce independently. They need to hijack cellular machinery. This is why they've traditionally been classified as non-living biological entities rather than true life forms. For those interested in the technical side, metagenomics is the study of genetic material recovered directly from environmental samples, allowing us to detect organisms we can't culture in labs. And quantum computing uses quantum mechanical phenomena, 
like superposition and entanglement to perform calculations that would be impossible for classical computers. All the concepts we've discussed are based on peer-reviewed research. Studies on giant viruses have appeared in journals like Nature and Frontiers in Microbiology, while work on quantum biology has been published in journals including Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences and Quantum Science and Technology. The concepts around a potential fourth domain remain speculative, but are grounded in genuine scientific mysteries that researchers continue to investigate. If you found this journey into life's deepest mysteries fascinating, hit subscribe now and join us for our next exploration of science's frontiers. And let us know in the comments what aspect of this potential fourth branch of life intrigues you the most. Let's be absolutely clear about where science stands today. No peer-reviewed study has definitively confirmed a fourth domain of life via quantum data. We're still in the realm of compelling hypothesis rather than established fact. But the reason this idea has captured serious scientific attention is that multiple fields are converging on something that can't be easily dismissed. Biologists have documented anomalous genetic structures in giant viruses and environmental samples that don't fit our evolutionary tree. These aren't minor variations. They represent fundamentally different approaches to biological information. Computer scientists have observed self-organizing quantum systems that exhibit lifelike properties without being programmed to do so. These aren't just random patterns. They're persistent structures that process information in ways that mirror adaptation and selection. And astrobiologists have detected biosignatures with no match to known metabolic pathways. Chemical fingerprints that suggest biological processes we've never encountered before. The hypothesis of a fourth branch is real. The evidence, while not conclusive, is growing. And for the first time in history, the tools to uncover it, quantum computing, advanced bioinformatics, and cross-disciplinary analysis, are finally in our hands. We stand at the threshold of potentially redefining what life is, not just adding a branch to life's tree, but perhaps discovering that life itself is more diverse, more creative, and more profound than we ever imagined. If you want to be first when the next breakthrough drops, hit subscribe and join the search. Because the greatest discoveries in science aren't just about finding answers. They're about asking better questions. And this might be the biggest question of all.